Okay, so here's what the deal was. The deal was that China says we want a way of distributing the products that our people are going to start making as we become, quote, capitalists or industri industrious people making products. So we want to have some distribution mechanism that we control. So guess what they got? They got Walmart. They set up little old Sam Walton down there in Georgia, down in Arkansas, right where Hillary was in the law firm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now, it's interesting if you read Little Rouge's literature, Executive Tells Review, and other pretty good journalists, in the sense that they keep their records. They read books. Yes. They're, they're one of the few people in America that reads. Yes. They read newspapers all over the world. They're a, they're a cult of literacy. Yes. And they read, 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 and they put it all together on their computers, and they, they come out with interesting connections like May Brussel used to do, because yes. May read a lot every day. And you can look up the history of, of Walmart, you know, when LaRouche and them do it, and they know that he was set up by something, but they'll call it British intelligence for the city of London. They don't know, or they not admit, and I doubt if they know, they don't know that behind the city of London is China on a broad level, see? But they know that there's some setting up uh, for Mr. Walton. Okay, so Walmart then becomes this huge powerhouse in the era that China becomes a huge powerhouse, let's say since 1990, right? Right. And it's because the digital environment, the electronic transparent, digital electronic transparency is removing all the layers of the onion so that the guys who actually do own the, the last vestiges of gold credit and currency are standing there with their clothes off and totally visible. So China, China never rose and, and just sped ahead because it was big population or whatever. It got revealed that it was <laughs> all power. That it was already there. It's already there. And so, for so we basically are still trying to pay them back. Yes, right. And they are being real careful because they can't collapse America because then they lose their investment. Right. So they're caught in a powerless position the way everything is so interdependent. They can't really push the whole thing and make the Bush family or the Clinton family or whatever uh, give in to this situation because Bush and the Clintons just walk around on the TV landscape and pretending there's an America and strut a boat because they know China doesn't want to rock the boat where everything falls apart. So this is where power becomes nothing. It's a technological interdependency that's very sophisticated and it's fun to look and understand and the best book that shows this is Finnegan's Wake. It's the best psychological document, sociological, chemistry, genetic stuff, physics, it's got it all in there. And Joyce, he half channeled it, so to speak, and he let language do the talking. So hold it, if America was to collapse, what happens to China? They lose their investment, so, that, so America's not going to collapse. But, but I mean, but no. If it were to collapse, what happens to China? It loses an investment, but what does that mean to China's economy? How much of an investment does it lose? What kind of gazillion dollars does China have over us? It loses a lot. It, it goes down with it. Okay, it goes well, down. Running around the rest of the world and involved in every other economy in the third world, what was called the third world, right. and they're trying to prop up some backup, so to speak. But none of those populations are as as huge as the American economy. Aren't they in Africa? Extent oh, yeah, they're all over the place. They're in Mexico, uh, everywhere. Because they're the only ones. They're doing what the Rockefellers are doing in the 60s, 70s. Through, through AID, Rockefeller would send out the welfare money all over the world. And then he got caught in the late 70s with the oil crisis and the speeding up of the digital economy that they couldn't bring the loans, debts back in. And everything collapsed in the late 70s for the Rockefellers. So China is like the new Rockefellers, handing out the, the medium of money and industrial structure, but most of it's really digital. They're, they're the only ones doing it around the world.